you're kind of walking like an interesting line between where we are as a business and what members could be doing. So uh, talk about that and what it's like to operate in both the here and now, but also the future. You're touching on a really key point, right? Because it's great to be able to speak and talk with a bunch of other businesses outside of the nationwide group to help get ideas and generate ideas that I can bring back to the group. But believe it or not, there's a lot of independent businesses that don't even have buying groups that are complementary businesses to nationwide's core businesses. As we try to find opportunities for every one of them, we speak to those businesses and say, is there a way for us to help grow each other's business collectively? Welcome into the Independent Thinking Podcast. This is your host, Rob Stott. It's always uh, unique to be able to kind of pontificate on the future of independent retail and uh, all the categories that we operate in. Don't get to do it often and, and rarely get to do it in the form of a podcast. But uh, when you're talking about that, it kind of boils down to this concept of new business and new business development. And luckily enough, we have a department here uh, headed up by Derek Madela, our, our VP of business development uh, at Nationwide Marketing Group. And we got to do just that. Uh, Derek is a guy that uh, somehow hasn't been on the podcast in my two and a half plus years of doing this, but uh, he's someone that's always busy and kind of weaving and, and bobbing his way through all corners of this industry to find the next big thing for our members and, and for the nationwide dealers um, to help them you know, in their business and, and to be able to differentiate from others in their market and all of that good stuff. And he's been, to say busy would be an understatement, but um, you know, finding all kinds of partnerships and making things happen here for our nationwide dealers and lots to talk about and catch up on since, you know, I've joined the team and, and, you know, he's been working here doing his thing, but we dive into it. Uh, everything from, you know, how he sort of goes about doing the work, his, his day-to-day work of identifying those opportunities and, you know, kind of seeing what rises to the top, what makes sense and how he goes about that decision-making and, uh, and then dive into some of those partnerships that he has uh, been able to uh, bring here to the table for the nationwide family, things like Azion, and we've got, do it best and and some other partnerships in the home improvement division that's in the works right now. So just a lot of exciting opportunities and initiatives that Derek's that's that are sitting at Derek's table, uh, you know, on his plate, and uh, he's ready to share. So we're we're diving into it and uh, let's just have some fun with it. So this is Derek Madel, our VP of New Business Development here on the Independent Thinking Podcast. All right, we are back on the Independent Thinking Podcast and uh, long overdue podcast. I think the last time you and I sat down on camera or in front of some microphones, I was not with Nationwide Marketing Group. So my apologies, first of all, Mr. Derek Matala, our VP of Business Development here at Nationwide Marketing Group. But, uh, you know, two and a half years in, uh, thanks for waiting so long. We, we This episode will have aged like fine wine by the time we actually, you know, get through recording this. Is that is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah, it's all good, buddy. It's uh, it's I, I completely understand, and that's a good um, that's a good indication, a good uh, testament to not only the good content that the rest of Nationwide is bringing to the podcast, but your ability to bring out some great co- podcasts in the first place. So I appreciate you thinking about me, and uh, hope I uh, appreciate that appreciate the conversation. Hey, the last time, the last, well, I think it was, you know, I don't know how we can top doing one from the tiny home. I mean, we, you and I were propped up on a couch inside the tiny home the last time we sat down for a podcast. And uh, I, the, that was like our, my peak of doing podcasts. So I, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't want to like try to, you know, think about recreating that. So here we are now sitting on zoom doing it this way, but we'll still have some fun. <laughs> that's good. It was, uh, I was I finally remember those, that uh, podcast we did in that tiny home. That was a fun that was a fun time. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we'll see that thing roll and moving around uh, the country again this Here, year. And here's soon enough. And visits and I, I it's, know. Uh, it's good to see that that has been uh, uh, put back on the road and is helping helping nationwide members uh, um, demonstrate got, and draw crowds. It's got some I know some updates were, were being made to it. And I know I, I didn't get out to see it, unfortunately, but it was in my neck of the woods at Mrs. G's up in uh, you know New Jersey here just like 25 minutes from me, I, I wasn't able to get over to it, but saw, you know, posted on social was in her parking lot and they were having some fun with us. So absolutely that thing, uh, it'll be nice to see it back on the road and 
uh, Cedia here. I think it's going to be a big part of the booth while we're down there in Dallas. So excited to see it uh, make the trip down there. And maybe I'll try to do another podcast with someone from there. If you're there, maybe that's where we'll do it. We'll go back to our roots and do another podcast from the tiny home. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. I'd be glad to. And I think that, that would bring, uh, that'd, be, that'd be some good memories to bring them back. Heck yeah. All right. Well, let, let's dive into uh, you and, and everything you, because you've been, I mean, you know, you, you talk about the stories I've been able to tell. You've been busy yourself uh, since, you know, I've been part of the nationwide team and um, we got a lot to catch up on, but I want to start, you know, with you and, and tell us a little bit, you know, for the audience that doesn't know Derek Madela, uh, tell us about yourself and kind of your background and um, path to NMG. We'll start there. Yeah, I appreciate it. So uh, Derek Madela, I'm vice president of business development and, you know, it's been a Really cool long uh, career here at Nationwide. I started back in 2015 uh, as our uh, director of merchandising on the appliance team. So uh, on the merchandising team and spent a number of years working uh, in the appliance business. But prior to that, I was very fortunate to have um, uh, bounced around a little bit. I always joke my... uh, I worked for my mother and my my family business uh, in in Denver, Colorado, uh, actually Golden, Colorado, uh, until I couldn't afford to work for free anymore. And uh, um, uh, you know, got a chance to work for a bunch of good companies, uh, both in the consumer electronics, the uh, high end customization, you know, CI space with the Ultimate Electronics, and and then got a chance to do some e commerce and some uh, national scale retailing, uh, running large business units with uh, Circuit City and QBC and uh, and before landing and, and coming here at Nationwide. It's been great because uh, I really appreciate and I have an enormous passion um, through that that journey of the role of the independent space and, and how the independent business helps uh, the communities and how the our independent businesses help um, uh, core industries grow. And uh, um, we've got a We've done a we've done a work, lot of work and tried really hard to help that with the nationwide members and uh, been fortunate to work on some cool projects and uh, I'm hoping to do that more with other businesses also. Yeah, absolutely. Anything from you know the past experiences that um, you, in your role as new business with business development that you kind of lean on, you know, that, that you can kind of take from your work in, in previous uh, you know stops that really applies to what you're doing right now. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up. I was having this conversation the other day with someone about um, about data and analytics and the use of data to help um, create sound business plans, not just business decisions, but business plans. And, um, you know, I find myself leaning into and it's consistent across these new business, um, new businesses and new groups that we speak with that the independent space um, is always starved for good connected data. And uh, one of the things that I continually lean myself into is that uh, um, I spent a lot of time at uh, both um, my national stops and circuit and QVC um, helping patch together data sets to help build um, business plans together. And I didn't realize it at the time, but that was a skill that was uh, uh, becoming really important as we went, came, as I came to Nationwide. And um, it's something that I continually lean into uh, when talking with other businesses outside of the nationwide family. Oh, that, that's awesome to hear. And, um, kind of, you know, we hear the buzzword of the, uh, the century, I think. So just data and big data and all that entails. So cool to see that it, it still does apply. And I mean, it, it, if anything, it applies more so today than probably you even realized why you're in those roles previously, but, um, awesome to see it sort of get, get, uh, the attention it deserves here. But, um, you know, it's, Kind of narrowing in on on what you're doing right now, new business development. Yeah, it kind of sounds like anyone that's thinking about it, you know, you go out, explore, find something. It's self-explanatory, but I know we take a, a pretty awesome approach to it. So I want to let you kind of dive into that from the NMG perspective. You know, what what does that entail when you talk about business development here for the independent channel? Well, you know, it's it's a we're very fortunate to have a very clear purpose at that, that nationwide, and I, I I really do believe and and fully subscribe to helping our independent dealers thrive on their own terms. And it sounds really simple and it sounds really cliche and kind of corporate when you think about it. But when you start getting to executing on helping and enabling uh, independent dealers thrive on their own terms, it takes on a lot of flavors and takes on a lot of paths. And it's it really is a personal goal and passion for me to be able to identify something that goes from a starter kit to a master's program in business service or 
or program offering to the nationwide members that um, we can use and kind of build to um, help enable the nationwide members to to grow and succeed at a you know on a level that is on their terms and um, you know it's great because part of what we get to do in new business development is look at new business services and look at new programs and vendor service offerings and bring either programs that are um, you know uh, need to be or should be a service and help to the nationwide members um, and also evaluate kind of the services that we have today that may be helpful to other businesses or other buying groups that are in other industries that um, are, um, you know, don't have the same resources or the same level of scale that Nationwide has. And uh, it's great because they get a chance to match those up and put them together to help help not only the Nationwide members, but also put, build partnerships outside of the group that helps build more competency and scale from uh, for the Nationwide members. So it's really cool. The, the interesting thing that there's two ways to go with this. Well, I want to start, you you talk about, obviously, people think about the the programs and offerings of Nationwide. When you're a retailer looking at it, you got, obviously, there's the business and financial services side, and, and then there's the product side. The cool thing is you kind of get to walk all of those lines and sort of the work you're doing and, and find, you know, things and partners, whether it's partnerships or programs or just initiatives to build that kind of go across the, the whole business as opposed to, you know, just not to limit their jobs and uh, don't, don't take it this way, Mr. Rose or Dar McDodd, but it, not limiting to, you know, one vertical or something like that. You kind of get to play in everything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, what's great. And that's part of the important handoffs in evaluating whether or not the business or the biz, the, the new service is going to help a specific category or does it help the entire ecosystem of dealers? And then, one step beyond that becomes it's nationwide members, right? If it's we're good for nationwide from 101 to master's degree, um, then could that be something that's valuable to other business groups and other partnerships outside of the network and, and who may be able to help leverage and create more scale and capability and, and um, help the nationwide members by expanding it to other non-competitive group businesses. So I'm curious, well, Dive back into that in a minute because I know you've been doing a lot of work with specifically some some other groups and things. But you know when you, you kind of think of it like you're you're walking a really interesting line where like you, you're looking at what we're doing right now, and I almost think of it like that that famous Wayne Gretzky quote about you know you got to look to where the puck's going as opposed to where it actually is. And you're yeah. kind of walking like an interesting line between where we are as a business and kind of where we could be um, and what members could be doing. So I, I talk about that and what it's like to sort of operate in in both the here and now but also the future uh, in terms of like what re independent retail could look like yeah that's um you're 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 touching on a really key point right because um it's great to be able to speak and talk with a bunch of other businesses outside of the nationwide group to help get ideas and generate ideas that i can bring back to the group um and that will help the nationwide members but um you know one of the things in 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 our strategy and kind of trying to focus and enable um, uh, the businesses and the independent businesses around the home to succeed. Um, you, I've got the, you know, I've had a benefit of talking with a lot of different groups and a lot of the same challenges that they have are the same challenges that we have and our nationwide members have. Labor's been an all time, um, you know, all time, uh, you know, big time challenge, and it doesn't look like that that's going to resolve itself in the near future, but it continually be is important to hire, retain, and train the best employees. And um, as that starts to become more difficult and more and more difficult in the future, um, you know, how do you use your scale to consolidate that to benefit similar groups? And um, same with um, uh, data and analytics, same with digital and, 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 and operations and execution. So to the, the idea of that there's, um, from a consumer's perspective also, a need to reduce the number of people that they're contacting, that there's, a, there's contact fatigue that's going on, um, that we think that building in a good referral program and good partnership and good connection of, of complementary businesses around the home helps the helps us build up um, capabilities around uh, and scale around solving some of these big challenges that are consistent against all the groups that are out there in the industry and servicing the independent channel. 
And um, believe it or not, there's a lot of independent businesses that don't even have buying groups that um, are complementary businesses to nationwide's core businesses of appliances and consumer electronics and furniture and bedding and outdoor and connected services. And as we you know, as we try to find opportunities for every one of them, we speak to those businesses and say, is there a way for us to um, help grow each other's business collectively? Right. And, and we're going to get into those in a second. But I, I do want to ask, um, before we dive into some of the specific work that you've been doing, um, you know, wait, give you a chance to kind of talk a little bit of, to the 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 work of, you know, how you go about it. You know, if an opportunity gets identified, is there like a way that you know, you go about internally processing whether it makes sense or, or something like that, or, um, you know, if it's worth pursuing for the group. Yeah, there, there's de definitely is because our, you know, our objective and kind of our, as we try to, you know, fulfill our purpose of enabling the entrepreneur to thrive on, you know, on our own terms and all the different facets that can take. One of the big things that I try to identify is do we have an unmet need by our members um, to, uh, to, um, focus in on. So do we have a, a, a collection of members that say, you know what, I need help with this. That starts the, the process of evaluating the, the, the opportunities that are designed for specifically the nationwide members. And then is there within the opportunities, the opportunity to expand that not only from the nationwide member perspective, but to other business units that uh, maybe need the same kind of um, support to fulfill that unmet need from, from their members. So, um, and, and, you know, each one of them has each business service and each relationship and each partnership has a different flavor to it. And I really try to focus really hard on whether or not we're servicing and, and helping enable um, our, na our nation members to fix something or utilize something that they're having a hard time um, doing on their own. And, um, and it works both ways, not only with the nationwide members, but also helps with our supplier and vendor and branding communities. Right, because they have a, they have the same challenges of of executing through the large number of independent retailers, and they ask for help and need help consistently. Also, so if there's a win for the nationwide members, there's a win for the supplier community and vendor community within the network. That then immediately rises up to the top of the list. And um, you know, the idea is for me is that maybe the different part from the business units of of appliances and consumer electronics and furniture and bedding is that those business services help that particular group. I'm hoping that I can help not only our group, but a group outside of the, you know, outside of the uh, nationwide walls and other businesses that can help bring services together. And that's kind of the, the fun part. Cause that's like the, just sort of like the bread and butter of what a buying group supposed to do, right? Like it, you, you've got obviously the business units that are, you know, they're working, in the categories and and staying on top of the trends in those spaces and whether it's you know the the product categories like you mentioned or the business service side of things but like that to be able to you know give these dealers that you know are are so able to adapt and evolve um and have been proven to you know over time it shows that the kind of the, the group is as well like adapting and evolving to you, new needs that rise, um, you know, unmet needs that, that can be fulfilled by different, whether it's partnerships or what, however those, um, you know, things come about, but it, it's just, it's kind of the essence of what a buying group is kind of sits in your seat at, with business development. That's right. Yeah. And that's great because, um, you know, we hear this term a lot, scale matters, scale really matters. And the reason why the nationals, um, get a, a nod in um, either product allocation or the reason they get a nod in service allocation or they get a nod in um, execution is because they are, they're leveraging their scale to better execute their plan. And everything that we do um, should be from data to planning, to strategy, to servicing the independent dealer to serve on, to, to, to thrive on their terms should be to leverage the scale to better compete against what the national competitors are. And, and the, the great thing about what we do is that it's applicable and, and, and it works across so many other businesses that as we've been talking with other buying groups and talking with other partners that we're trying to um, you know, learn from, but also partner with, um, there's a need across every and across all verticals and the list is long and you you start to think of all the independent businesses that are 
uh, run out there in, a, in, in, in each local community. And there's generally a buying group or some sort of organization that's trying to help um, uh, do what we are trying to do for our nationwide members. And um, it makes it fun to try to connect these groups, core strengths together to help build that scale and that, that uh, consistent execution. And I, I was going to say, it kind of brings our conversation full circle uh, in that, you know, scale really, that's a, another way, it's a synonym for data. Um, you know, having the scale means having the amount of data to be able to, you know, dig into those insights and not only, you know, see internally sort of the, the things that are happening and the opportunities that exist, but also externally when you go to those partners and you need the, the scale or data to be able to say, hey, this is what we're seeing and we think either you can help or, or we can be of help to you. Uh, and, and go out and really form those partnerships. That's right. That's exactly right. And that's where it's a really great handoff and a kind of a good segue to, to around the other categories in the home is that our we've done our nationwide members have done a great job of helping serve their independent their businesses and their markets and their communities in their core categories. But now products are connecting so uh, so frequently together that the independent nationwide members are being asked to. Um, touch other categories or get involved with other categories that they had never considered in the past. And right. um, that connected home fabric of, and that network of the home um, is becoming more and more and continues to be complicated from the consumer's perspective, which is creating great opportunities for independent dealers to help solve those challenges. And as we look down the road and look to the future of of connected products it's not just connected products but it's really the connected entire home and we think of it through technology it's not through technology it's the connected home of roofing siding windows um and all, everything that goes into a home that consumers need to um you know are looking for help for and are looking for somebody locally that have, that can do a great job of providing good experience good service and that's where all these partnerships coming in really start to blossom is how do we bring those to the nationwide members as a as a potential offer right and that, now we get to the fun stuff this is a, you know my hands are ready to go we're we're digging in because this is where we get to talk about the things that you know we've kind of been talking from like the 50,000 foot level up here of how you go about thinking about things and and the way you sort of operate and um, all of that, but now digging into the the meat of it, you had you know talk about the two and a half years or almost three years that I've been here and um, the things that you've been doing and the partnerships that we've been able to announce things like Azion. I know we've got you know do it best is coming to prime time and uh, there's some other things going on. You, you talk about the the home improvement side of things. So talk about you know what what it's like seeing those kinds of partnerships that really you know they they start in your seat in your department and in new business development and. And just watching them blossom, what's what, what's it like seeing all those things come to fruition and um, this this vision, if you will, sort of come to life? Yeah, it's great because um, you know you you have a lot of um, discussions and meet with a lot of brilliant minds and people that are in this industry and people that we've been fortunate enough to talk with about what is it that we can do to help the nationwide members succeed and um, and bringing in new partnerships and new um, alliances really. Um, sometimes starts off of is there's, there's a little bit of um, uh, question as to how do we make those handouts work and how do we make those make the, that business help support each other. And it is so great to see when our business services and our um, our training and our data and our marketing and all of the different value add services that we make available in HRI members start to penetrate and start to become important to those new those new partnerships. And you mentioned Azion, for example, they're, they're an incredible group of hardworking independent businesses doing great, you know, incredible um, custom integration work within each market and now building connection and building referral within luxury appliance spaces and helping create uh, a, a, a team of, of members that are working together to help service the customers' needs in their markets is really, really, really cool. And um, it, and, and that's what it's about. And if you think of the origins of buying groups, right? You know, buying groups is a, the kind of the start and getting together to help, you know, start buy better and, and, and sell smarter and compete tougher um, within a, a buying group space. This is the new age and the new business services and the new connection and network services that we provide is, is doing exactly that. And it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun to watch it come to, come to fruition because as you mentioned, it started 
years ago, right? This has been uh, uh, years in the making and then having having it um, come to fruition with uh, some good services and members is really cool. And there's more to come, right? And, you know, as you start thinking through the list of different categories that, you know, members may or may not want to be involved in, and it's okay, it's going to work for some, it's not going to work forever, but or for all, but it was going to, you know, uh, create opportunities for both, um, you know, all the, the partnerships and the, and the new groups that become a, a affiliated and aligned with Nationwide, uh, but it's going to create even more opportunities to sell connected and complementary product categories for the Nationwide members um, around the home, and you'll start to see more product categories um, becoming available, home improvement division, which we're going to launch here and um, and bring to the, the nationwide members has been in the process for many years and, um, and has been working, we're working on it to try to help complement and create supplemental business categories and ca for categories that are already in, uh, which right. is, you know, um, you know, it's funny, I, I, I think about this, you know, the number of appliance dealers that we have that are showing products in uh, kitchen environments but not selling or made available the cabinets, the countertops, the plumbing, the hardware. And um, these are all good margin product sales opportunities for those customers. And we hope that some of these new home improvement categories will help complement the nationwide member assortments. It, it, it's awesome because now we have, you know, you, we have lots of partnerships that you've been involved in and, and helping get off the ground, but this, this, division, the home improvement side of things is kind of a cool one because we get to dive into a specific example of, you know, the 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 start to sort of how it where it is now and, and kind of the future. And I talk about, you know, the the conversations, how they get started. You mentioned talking to members and having sort of that initial sort of ideation of of what's possible. Um, you know, where I don't you don't have to go back to a, the specific time and place, but you know, what what was it like as, you know, you start thinking about like maybe this is a possibility and, and how did it sort of sort of steamroll steamball or snowball from there and in, in, into what it is today? Yeah, you know, this is the benefit of, of being uh, positively connected with and, and discussing business with other groups, right? Because, um, you know, their, their ideas and idea sharing that happens related to how do we service our customers, our members the best way. And, um, you know, we've spent a lot of time um, at, at KBiz and other conferences and shows throwing, you know, kind of floating out the idea that, hey, maybe this supplier is an important supplier to the nationwide members. And that supplier, and I'll use one like, I'll, I'll actually I'll use one that started, uh, actually that really started the, um, uh, uh, the thought process for me. Uh, back maybe this is probably in 2017 actually. Um, Palazzani um, is a uh, is a is a, a a brand and a supporter and a, a business for um, nationwide members. Um, decorative, high end Italian plumbing uh, for kitchen and bath. Right? Yep. They've got incredibly great. They've got beautiful product. Um, I started them. The paisano, exactly. the paisanos, you know, they expect exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's funny. The story is actually kind of interesting because um, the gentleman um, we were we were pre preparing for a board meeting uh, that was in at the nationwide office, and this was back at the old office before we moved downtown into the the new the new building, and um, and we got a, a a ring on the the doorbell, the front door, saying, "Hey, I want to talk to somebody about new business opportunities." Literally, somebody walked to the front door, which isn't typical, by the way. In fact, of the seven right. years that I've I've been with Nationwide. That's the only time it's happened. Wow. But so, so, um, uh, so Manny, um, who was, uh, who runs that business, so you see him at prime time, he comes to the door and I'm like, really, it was really bad timing. I said, Hey buddy, you know, I, I, I have to, I'll call you because I can't <laughs> believe you've done this. This is great. This is fantastic. But let me um, let me give you a call back after our board meeting. So we connected, and he started talking a little bit about some of these complementary categories that would help make sense. And started pointing out he'd run a business, um, he'd run a family business, uh, and, and had been members of buying groups, and that he thought he could make some headway and and helping offer a margin rich, you know, product offering to the nationwide members. Well, we brought them to prime time very quickly. And I spent some time going to KBiz and working through the different categories, trying to find it. But what became really, really obvious and clear 
was that you just can't bring in one supplier to be in the category. And right. then as we were talking through what it takes to be part of, you know, to offer these kind of services and they're really making them as a full category solution and not have it just be only decorative plumbing, but cabinetry countertops, um, it started to grow and started to grow from that. I, I think it's funny because um, Manny may never, I told him this and I, you know, he sparked a little bit of an interest in me because um, of, of how we got started, how we got introduced and I've spent some time with him. He is, he's a fantastic, fantastic individual and knows this business really well. And um, as then we walked through the halls of KBiz and walked through the different, um, you know, partnership discussions, started to realize that this could probably happen and, and be a good thing for Nationwide members and then extend, you know, again, back outside the, the walls of Nationwide with other partnerships. Heck yeah. Well, so there you heard it here. The way to get in with Nationwide and have us launch a new business is to just pop by the office, knock on the door and say hello to and find Derek Madela. So no, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. Cool. Really cool story. And um, one that, you know, just to, again, to see how it's grown from then to, you know, I know it's going to continue to grow and, and we, you've got a lot of things going on and uh, work happening. So I, I, I know it's a busy time of year right now, especially you know, just days away from prime time getting uh, kicked off here. So I appreciate, you know, you taking the chance time and uh, uh, hopping on the podcast and, and chatting with us a little bit, peeling the layers back on new business development here at Nationwide and kind of letting us see how it's done. So I, I appreciate it, man. This was a lot of fun. Rob, great job. You do, you do an incredible job with these podcasts and um, it, I, it is, uh, it's an, it's awesome to see it continue to go and the passion behind it. And uh, anytime, buddy, you know, I'm, anytime I'm a, I'm, I'm a yo text away. Awesome, Noah. Thank you. And we won't wait another two and a half years, I promise. <laughs> That's good, buddy. Awesome. And thanks and apologies again to Mr. Madela for not having him on the podcast for so long, but it, it was well worth the wait. Uh, you know, we had a, a great conversation, one that, you know, I learned a lot about kind of getting his insight on how he goes about uh, you know, looking for those new business opportunities and how he goes about creating all those partnerships that have come to the table and and uh, become part of the nationwide family and, and you know available to our membership. So awesome to hear and uh, of course appreciate him taking the time. But as always, appreciate you listening to the Independent Thinking Podcast, and we'll catch you next time.